Dyslexia is a disability that affects a person's ability to acquire written language. People with dyslexia essentially have an inability to pair up speech sounds to print symbols. Researchers will cite 15% of the population is dyslexic, and some researchers think that that figure is probably closer to 20%. Even if you look at it conservatively, 15%, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of kids sitting in a classroom. Our mission is to be a community-based resource for families um, to provide one-on-one -on -one specialized services for kids with dyslexia. And secondly, our mission is to help teachers uh, get the training that, that they need to be able to be in the classroom and feel effective. My name is Gavin. And I come to this center because I have dyslexia and I need to be taught a different way than other kids in my age group. Being here at the center has helped me very much from since the first time I've gotten here. I wasn't that good at writing, um, but now I'm super good at writing. One thing I wish that people knew about children with dyslexia is that it doesn't mean they're any less smart. It's just their brain is organized differently. So the way Gavin learns to read is just a different way than we do. You know, instead of taking the highway that we might have taken to learn to read, their, their brain kind of takes the back roads. So they can still learn to read. They just can't do it the most efficiently. But once they learn to read, they actually are really unique thinkers. They can kind of see the bigger picture. I think the misconception about dyslexia is, or, or what we don't, a lot of people don't know about it is, dyslexia affects some of the smartest people in the world. So we're working with really, really smart kids that just haven't had the instruction they need to flourish, and they get that here. The tutors that he had here were phenomenal. We were partners. We weren't uh, passengers on the journey. Out of the gate, they set me up for some expectations for Michael. And then Michael's journey just blossomed. In this classroom, he was teaching the other students who have dyslexia the cheats that he had learned here. So it was a gift, if you will, that kept on giving in the community, in the classroom. It was amazing. Uh, so I found out that I had dyslexia in, I believe, the eighth grade. I've always struggled with reading and writing and all that just didn't come very naturally. This, just over this, whatever, nine months that I did this helped so much in ways that I wasn't expecting. I didn't fully understand how it was working, but it was. And the methods just do stick and it's really cool. My name's Travis Graves. I'm Cullen's dad. I'm Cullen and uh, his son. <laughs> I love it. He hated school. Absolutely hated everything to do with it. This has been a huge game changer. We tried multiple tutors, and he just kept struggling. And, uh, sorry. Second time you see me cry. It's difficult with your kids, seeing them struggle. He is so smart. He just picks up on things so much different. His last day this year, coming here, he didn't realize that he wasn't gonna see his teacher again. He broke down and cried. I've never seen that before. He actually wanted to be here. And it was a, a joy as a dad, as a parent, to see your kids actually enjoy learning. I just started to change, like during the end of it, at the end of the, the year, it's just like, man, like, I could read. If there is anybody who feels like they want to make an impact in a, in a child's life, we will train them to do what is needed to tutor. We'll get you into a program, we'll train you, and you can help students, either in the public school or in a private practice or at the center. Finding boots on the ground to help 
That's the challenge. I would call on the corporate community in our state. Corporations in our state are mainly small business owners, and small business owners are you and me and our neighbors. I would ask you to support this organization and recognize that you are supporting the children of the state of Maine. And these children have so much to offer our communities and our workforce, our labor force, and the future of the state of Maine. One of the things that I wish uh, parents would know is that their child can excel. It's really heartbreaking to hear a parent say, well, I'm just really hoping that they can graduate high school or that they can just manage this milestone. Kids with dyslexia, adults with dyslexia, are average or above average intelligence-wise. It's not an issue with intelligence. So once that reading piece is, is solved, then the sky's the limit.